always been amazed by, and you see it on like TV, right, with like human plant, some of those documentaries on National Geographic, are carrying their water for like a half hour sometimes. And you come here and they're carrying it up like a mountain. And, and they'll do it two to three times a day, every day. You just kind of think about the fact they do it over and over and over again. And that's just what's mind boggling. It's like, and it's still not even clean. Hey, what did you use? I'm um, Andrew Fenner. I'm a second lieutenant in the Air Force. And uh, I came out here to work on a water project. I've done previous water projects in other countries, and this one caught my eye, and I got to get on the project. So this trip, uh, we started out really with basically testing, just trying to figure out how much chlorine do we need to add to the water for it to still be safe, but not be too much chlorine. So we take these samples, we test them every hour to see if there's bacteria still present. And then we also tested to see how much chlorine is still in the water. It splits the salt. Salt is sodium and chlorine. You, know, you don't feel like you're doing a lot sometimes. I test the water for 10 minutes. Now take it out. And then the other hour you're just talking to people. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that's at that line, yeah? The people, don't, they don't just want, you know, charity. They, they want help, but they want to know who's helping them. They want to talk to people. And you get the full story when you talk to the kids, uh, when you talk to the adults. You really get a good understanding of why they need this. And the fact that they're people. They're not these statistics that we see on a board. So I, for me, it drives me more to make it, you know, it's more important for me um, when I get to talk to people and you build the relationships and know, you know, it's not just um, this guy's water that, that's dirty. It's Julie's water. It's Johnny's water that's dirty. It's all the kids' water that's dirty, and it brings much more. It brings it home more. It makes you. I think it gives you the drive to, to work harder. We, we're only at four houses right now. You know, maybe serving a total of 300 people at the most. But there's obviously a lot more than 300 people that need drinking water. So I hope when we leave that there's enough of a notice that this is working, so that when we come back in a year, this is going to be something that everyone's going to want to be in on.